Adam Dave. A human story of two typical Australians, their families, their lives, their hopes, their doubts, their fears and their triumphs. The characters of Dad and Dave represent all that is sturdy, honest and resourceful in the great Australian outback. You'll laugh with them, you will sympathise with them, and perhaps their troubles may in some way remind you of your own, and perhaps their courage will inspire you. Now let us visit the homestead in Snake Gully, just off the road to Gundagai. It is a typical Australian homestead. There's a veranda running almost right round the house. In front of the house are a few trees and a small, well-kept garden. Go away, Dave. Can't you see Mabel's telling my fortune? Oh, telling your fortune, is she? Well, does she have to hold your hand like that? Oh, take no notice of him, Mabel. Go on telling me fortune. Well, you'll have good luck towards the end of the year, and you'll get a letter with money in it. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dave? Someone is going to send me some money. Oh, I'd be sending you money. Oh, that's silly. It's not silly. I can see it here in Dad's hand. Well, I don't believe in fortune telling. Now, don't interrupt us. Go and sit with your mother. Mum wants to go to sleep for a while. Well, you let Mabel will keep on telling me fortune. Go on, Mabel. Well, you're getting quite a lot of money towards the end of the year. Oh, how can you tell that from looking at his hand? Well, I've studied fortune telling. I've got a book about it. Herb Wilson gave it to me. There you go, mentioning Herb Wilson's name again. I suppose you've thrown away all the presents I gave you. No, I haven't. And I can't tell fortunes if you're going to talk all the time. I wish you'd keep quiet, Dave. You don't have to make a nuisance of yourself. Go on, Mabel, go on. Keep telling me fortune. Well... Oh, yes, I can see it quite plainly here. There's a letter coming across the water, and there's money in that letter. Mm, now, I wonder who that'd be from. I've got a cousin in England who's in business there. He might leave me all his money. Oh, why should he leave you his money? He's got a wife and kids. Well, you never know what people will do, and it says so in me hand anyway. Well, I don't believe Well, I do. Now, go on, Mabel, tell me some more. All right, Dad, well, I'll see your journey here. And a dark woman. Uh, so to be, Mum. Maybe I'd better go down to the city with her. Oh, you know, you can't get away just at present. There's too much to do on the farm. That's true, and we've got to mend that milking machine, too. We'll do that as soon as your mother goes. The doctor says she'll be well enough to travel next week. Is there anything else in me, hand, Mabel? Well, I'm looking at your family line. Oh, I can see a bit of trouble here with a tall man. That'll be Dave. Oh, I don't cause you any trouble. Anyhow, how can she tell that sort of thing from looking at your hand? She's only making it up. Well, how dare you say that, Dave. I'm not making it up. I read all about it in the book that Herb Wilson gave oh, me. Oh, for goodness sake, stop talking about Herb Wilson. Oh, what makes you so bad, Kemper, Dave? The girl can't open her mouth. You seem to forget that she's done us a favour by coming over here. And what did I tell you about being polite to her? Oh, Oh, yes, I, uh, I forgot about that. Well, I'm very sorry, Mabel. I, I won't offend again. Oh, that's all right, Dave. Oh, don't mention it. Uh, and, and do you mind if I sit here? I don't care where you sit. Take no notice of him, Mabel. Now, can you see anything more in me hand? Yes, wait a minute now. Oh, you're going to do quite a lot of hard work with your hands in the near future. I'm going to mend the milking machine. Oh. There's no doubt about you, Mabel. You're marvellous. Did you hear that, Dad? She could see in me hand that I was going to mend the milking machine. Oh, well, I don't think much of that. I'll do most of the mending when we start on the milking machine. Oh, no, you won't. You couldn't put it together properly last time. Well, I'd have been all right if you hadn't told me the wrong thing. I did not tell you the wrong thing. You took it to pieces, and you should have known how to put it together. You keep your hands off it this time. And just old screws for me while I take it to pieces. Anyway, I'm very dissatisfied with that milking machine. We've had nothing but trouble with it ever since we've had it. Well, I told you not to get that sort of machine. Ted Ramsey has got a much better one. If we'd have got the same sort as he's got, we wouldn't have any trouble. Oh, I knew what I was doing. That thing Ramsey's got is always breaking down. Yes, and so is ours. Oh, you should see the bond and new milking machine I've got over at Herb Don't Wilson. say it, Mabel. Don't say it. We know Herb Wilson has got better things than anyone else in Snake Gully. Oh, pipe down, Dave, and let Mabel get on with telling me fortune. We don't have to talk about the milking machine now. Well, who started talking about well, it? Just ignore him and talk to me. Now, what else can you see in me, Anne, Mabel? Well, there isn't much else there, Dad. 
Except that you're going to have very good luck. Good luck? Oh, that's good. Well, uh, thanks for telling me, Fortune, Mabel. All right. 